Hello Metal Gear Solid fans, this is Solid Dave Snake, continuing Metal Gear May on my YouTube channel with my first review in the McFarlane Metal Gear Solid action figure toy line. And this line came out back in 1998 after that initial Metal Gear Solid for PlayStation release and consisted of eight characters. But I thought it very fitting to start off the very first review on our lead hero character, the one and only Solid Snake. And just like in the game, this character is represented in his stealth suit with a lot of equipment and weapon accessories. Um, in the Metal Gear games, you, you get to use a lot of equipment and weapons you acquire throughout the game. So they were very heavy on that with this action figure and we'll go over them starting off with uh, this little C4 if I can get a focus in on it it's pretty tiny but it's just like the C4 you use in the game it's got a little detonator poking out of the top and a gas mask which will actually snap on a solid snake. And a stinger missile launcher. Which you can actually get him to shoulder this in his uh, right hand and get him to look down that scope. And it actually has a little feature which shoots out the missile. See if I can hit Snake. Ah, right in between the legs. But it actually fires out of the wrong end. Um, I believe it's actually supposed to shoot out of this end. So they had that wrong. And on Solid Snake, we have his uh, thermal goggles, which will fit over his head. And uh, you can see on the back, there's a little clip where you can actually connect that. And he has the famous bull pump assault rifle. Whoa, dropping snake. And there's a lot of detail in this. And it's actually got a little peg on the handle, which will fit in a hole in his hand. So that's nice. And then he comes with, it fits in his holster on his right hand side of his hip, the SOCOM pistol. And the silencer and laser sight actually come off. So that's a neat little feature too. And Solid Snake himself is really detailed for uh, the likeness of that first game. On that original PlayStation they really didn't have a lot of detail in the characters faces. Their eyes were even kind of blocky shadows. So this first line of figures that McFarlane did was kind of open a little bit to interpretation just off the artwork that was based off the game on all the detail in the actual character's face. But I think it's represented real nice. Get in a little closer and get a good focus. Let you see the detail on Solid Snake's face. He's got the bandana. Hair slick to the back. In the sneaking suit, I love all the detail in it with the uh, darker, sh uh, grayer shade coloring, kind of like how um, uh, the color schemes that were used in the actual game really go along nice with the sneaking suit. A lot of uh, detail in the belt with all the clips and attachments. A holster there on his right hip. And continuing down with the boots. 
It's actually got tread on the bottom. And articulation wise, this snake was pretty nice for uh, being made back in 1998. He's got that about that much of a head swivel. His shoulders are on a ball hinge, which you can get about up to there because of the shoulder pads that far down and then forward and back and he's got a single cut at this right elbow so you can really only get you can get it straight whenever it's down like that he's got a cut at the wrist too and then you can get him a bit angle on that arm to hold the assault rifle and rocket launcher and same thing on this side there's only a cut which leaves this hand in a bent upwards uh, position with the elbow and then a swivel at the wrist there too and he has a swivel at the waist which you can turn him all the way around he's got cuts at the thighs or hips and a single hinge at the knees and that is it so it does it for the articulation and I really love this figure I know it's been oh geez 16 years now since it was made but it still holds up in time to me is uh, one of my overall favorite action figures so I love this solid snake and I love that fir very first Metal Gear Solid game so uh, thanks for watching guys and the next review I will have up will be Solid's twin brother Liquid. So, catch you then.